Assembling your telescope takes only a few minutes. When first opening the packing box, note carefully the parts listed on your gift box. After removing the tripod from the shipping carton, stand the tripod vertically. With the tripod feet down and the tripod still fully collapsed, gently pull the legs apart to a fully open position. Place the tray over the inner support strut that contains two bolt holes. Line up the bolt holes on the tray with the bolt holes on the strut. Slide the two included bolts through the top of the bolt holes. Tighten the bolts with the included wing nuts on the bottom side of the tray. Tighten to a firm feel only. Turn the tripod lock knob to help stabilize and secure the tripod. Make sure that you loosen the tripod lock knob before collapsing the tripod. Here's a tip. The tray does not have to be removed when you collapse the tripod at the end of a viewing session. Next, attach the mounting arm assembly to the tripod base. Place the mounting arm into the tripod base and continue to hold onto the arm with one hand. With your other hand, reach underneath the base and thread the mounting lock knob through the tripod base and into the mounting arm. Tighten to a firm feel only. Don't over tighten. Locate the four screws on the mounting shaft. Remove the screws using a Phillips head screwdriver. Set the screws aside. The optical tube assembly is shipped with cradle rings attached. Loosen the cradle lock knob until you can open the cradle rings. Remove the optical tube assembly from the cradle. The cradle contains a molded key that fits into the slot on the shaft. Line up the key with the slot and slide the cradle onto the shaft. Replace the four screws onto the mating threads using the Phillips head screwdriver. Replace the optical tube into the cradle ring. Tighten the ring lock knob so that it holds the optical tube loosely. Before you tighten the ring lock knob, slide the tube back and forth until you find a position where the tube remains horizontal with the center of gravity. Then tighten the ring lock knob to a firm feel. Loosen the tripod leg locks and adjust the length of the tripod legs to a comfortable viewing height. Then re-tighten the leg locks. Next, attach the viewfinder bracket. If you have a refractor model, use a Phillips head screwdriver to thread the two attachment screws in the bracket into the mating threads located on the optical tube. The attachment screws are placed and captured inside the bracket at the factory so you can't lose them. If you have a reflector model, Use a Phillips head screwdriver to thread the two attachment screws in the bracket into the mating threads located on the optical tube. Next, attach the viewfinder. Carefully remove the rubber eye cup from the viewfinder before sliding the viewfinder into the bracket. Slide the viewfinder eyepiece in first into the viewfinder bracket. Then loosely tighten the four alignment thumb screws to hold the viewfinder. Don't over tighten. You'll need to adjust these screws when you align the viewfinder, which is explained later. Replace the rubber eye cup after the viewfinder's position in the bracket. Next, we'll attach the eyepiece assembly. If we have a refractor model, remove the plastic dust cover from the eyepiece holder and slide the 90 degree diagonal into the telescope's eyepiece holder and tighten the thumb screws to a firm feel to secure it in place. Remove the eyepiece from its container and place it into the diagonal and tighten the thumb screw to a firm feel. If you have a reflector model, remove the plastic dust cover from the eyepiece holder, remove the supplied eyepiece, and slide it into the eyepiece holder and tighten the thumb screw to a firm feel. Open the battery compartment by lifting the cover and pulling it away from the dry base. Remove the battery holder from the compartment and carefully lift the battery connector. Disconnect the battery connector from the battery holder before inserting the batteries. Insert the eight AA batteries into the battery holder, oriented as shown on the diagram on the slots of the battery holder. Connect the plug to the battery holder. Replace the battery holder into the battery compartment and replace the cover. Remove the dust cover from the optical tube assembly. If you have a reflector, look at the other end of this telescope. Note the six screws and the velvet circle. Do not loosen or remove these screws or peel the velvet off. These screws are for collimation. 
you can refer to the instruction manual for more information about collimating your telescope.